Um, Rocket, we haven't spoken to you, I guess, post China. Uh, what was, I guess, the main things you've taken out of it? It's obviously pretty disappointing. And your post game press, I, I mean, you didn't really have answers for it. You were sort of scratching your head too. I've got answers, but no, nothing to say publicly. Um, no, we've had a good review. Obviously, we didn't get the players back till Saturday. Um, yeah, yeah, it was very disappointing. Um, on mass, there wasn't any positives to come out of it, except probably a couple of individuals. Um, uh, that was it. So we've uh, had some big discussions where the players have been giving their thoughts and opinions. We didn't show any edits from the game. There wasn't any, any sense showing that. So uh, we went a different tack. And they've trained well this week. So um, now we certainly need to bounce back. Who were those individuals then that stood out? Uh, May and Harbrow were probably our best two, and there's probably a couple of others that were, were OK. So did you try and put that game behind you, Robert, and not, almost not focus on it at all? Uh, no, we focus on the psychological element of it, yeah, but not the physical element. You mentioned Harbs. He's had a career best year last year yep. and seems to have gone to another level. He's certainly more direct than ever. And yeah. Consistent? No, yeah, he, he's been really consistent. I think his leadership's been terrific. Um, you know, we're such a young group. We need, you know, we lost had a few out last week with the, the leadership aspect. So we need those leaders to stand up, but also that middle group. And that middle group really didn't stand up. But he, um, but he's, he's certainly showing the way with his form at the moment. It's been terrific. You must take a bit of pride in his football development because he's he arrived here as a kid. He didn't really want to say boo to anyone, and he's emerged into a pretty significant figure within the team. Yeah, well, I obviously I had him at the Bulldogs when we drafted him there as an 18-year-old, and um, uh, he was very quiet then, as you can imagine, but he was, but he was very determined, and, you know, he was very focused on, on being an AFL player and being the best player he could be, and uh, uh, I think it's quite, it's not ironic, not the right word, but uh, impactful that it's Indigenous around this week, and he's seen as a real leader amongst Indigenous boys, you know, he's a bit of a bit of a grand poo bar in many ways, you know, they you know, seek his counsel and he is very um, happy to lead and direct and um, support and help young, young Indigenous boys. You know, he's been terrific all around, his leadership's been great. Uh, just on Twitter, Will Brody's going to make his play? Yeah, Will's playing, so um, obviously we thought our, especially our first quarter was poor in the contest and Will, uh, um, that's one thing he does bring. Um, he, you know, he had a few things to work on in, in his game um, to give him the chance. Even last game, we played him forward to try and actually diversify his uh, his tricks. Um, so he didn't play exceptionally well, but as a midfielder, he's been playing very well in the needle. So uh, that just gives him another string to his bow. But uh, yeah, on his form previous before that, he deserves his spot. And Swallow is in too. Yeah, he's playing. Yeah, so David and him are playing. So um, you clearly tried to add some steel to you. Yeah, we need to, and yeah, and as I said, the leaders, leader types. So we've got you know boys that young guys want to follow someone, so we need to be able to steal that up as well at the same time. Who could be missing out with Will Brody coming in? Uh, Jack Bowes has got tonsillitis, so he won't uh, play. Um, uh, Keegan Brooksby won't play, and we've just got a couple of uh, couple of tests things. We'll have a match with me this afternoon and finalise where we're at with a few blokes. Rory Thompson being one of those, he's had a bit of a... No, nah, Rory won't play at all. Okay. What were some of those elements that you wanted to see from Will Brody? I guess he came in highly rated, but he was just a bit behind. What were some of the things... Yeah, you I think it just, you know, he's, um, he's a real bull at the contest. He's a great contested player. Just his ability to see other aspects of the game, you know, probably the defensive side. And that's the thing with most kids when they come in, they've got a lot of parts of their game to improve. Um, uh, coming out of the uh, development system, and especially if you're a really good player, they just tend to focus on their one thing, um, and they get taught that. Um, so just to add, because the AFL is such a big gap, um, there's a whole range of elements to add to their games. And that's the same with Jack Bowes, who's learning on the spot, and you know, a whole range of other players. But, uh, but I think give the one thing about Will, he's got a thirst for knowledge and a thirst for improvement, and he's knocking on the door of all coaches at any time to improve himself. So. Um, he's not one to shy away um, physically, but certainly not to shy away if he gets any bad news or any anything to improve. And will Brad Shee be in there again? Uh, we'll discuss. He's been crooked all week as well, um, so uh, he'll be one that will be discussed this afternoon. And 
and sorry, just with Rory, then how like how long are we looking at? He's not playing at all this week, do you know? Well we'll be playing in the knee for when he comes back and he might be there a few weeks. And Hanley will be knee for all this week. Yeah, it looks like the stage, yeah, if we just just to be fair, I'd be you know, it'd be nice and enticing to bring back an experienced player, but uh, he uh, yeah, you know, he's been seven or eight weeks now. Is it feeling one hundred percent happy? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, he could have played last week. Well, were you tempted to swing Boomin Axe after the China game, or were you concerned that if you changed it up too much, you might get the same result? Oh, no, but you've got to have players to bring out. Bring in, sorry. So, wouldn't you? probably go to 12, not playing this week. So, you're limited in many ways. Uh, by the same token, we'll be, you know, there'll be at least three changes. What do you make of your opponent, Rocket? They, their best has been really, really good this season. Yeah. Been yeah, I don't think they've ever been blown out of the water. So, obviously, they're all, always there in games as well. You know, they're a very competitive side. Um, but it's more about us getting us right this week. You know, we had a great performance the week before China, then on mass uh, actually deliver what we did. So we need to need to bounce back. Is it getting the effort right, Rocket? Is that what you really want to see? Just everyone's going 110 percent on the weekend. Probably 100 would be fine. So, but yeah, if we can get you know the consistent effort, and that's what what happens with young teams. But we've got to bridge that consistency gap uh, where if we Five weeks previously, we, even if we lost, we are in the games. Um, then we had a blowout. How do you, how do you go about it? Is it a train track? Is it a oh, a bit of both. Uh, train track, individually, meetings. So.